how to revise radiology in a day in fact i'll tell you how to revise a radiology in less than a day that is 4 hours 5 to 8 not 9 maybe 5 to 8 questions come from radiology major subjects are your medicine surgery obg psm these are the four major subjects which have 20 to 25 questions each puff of smoke appearance identification of bleed on ct edh sdh sh very 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 important i have covered all important topics important concepts in this pdf in just 22 pages for all of you hello everyone so neat pg is just round the corner we have less than 10 days now left for the neat pg exam and so every topic every subject needs to be done very quickly in a very short time and so in this video i'll tell you how to revise radiology in a day in fact i'll tell you how to revise a radiology in less than a day that is 4 hours right that is all now in uh, today's video i'll cover what are the important topics so what is the outline of today's class so this is going to be a strategy session in which we'll cover important topics that will be asked neat pg based on the past year trend next we'll talk about what is the plan of action from where should you read it and also we'll talk about the weightage what is the weightage of radiology given and over the past year how based on over the past year trends how you can plan your study of radiology uh, in the last 10 days now my name is dr rishab jain i am a, a radiology faculty at pw meded and i have been mentoring students for neat pg for the past 3 uh, 4 years now right so radiology is one subject that is that has an overlap with other subjects also but in that way it is a very good subject because it helps you revise a lot of clinical subjects simultaneously and if you're just going to give 4 hours and you're revising a lot of stuff from other subjects so i think radiology is one uh, subject that you should definitely focus on in the last 10 days because it helps you revise other subjects also now let's first start that why do we need to read radiology what is the weightage of radiology questions so if i talk about the last few uh, years right these are the trends from neat pg 2021 22 23 and uh, two shifts for 2024 right now what has been the trend of radiology now radiology is at the bottom as you can see this is the radiology and uh, earlier sometimes 2 4 but now around i would say 5 to 9 questions 5 to 8 not 9 maybe 5 to 8 questions come from radiology now if you take a or take the whole image based questions all clinical image based questions which have a radiology then it might come to around 15 to 20 you know but if i talk about what things that i have taught and uh, what are some things related to radiology they're not asking you management as such but they are pure diagnostic radiology images so around five to eight questions which is a big which is not a small number not a big number but again not a small number and given that you are just spending four hours and you're getting around five to eight questions i think it's a pretty good deal that you should spend some time uh, revising your radiology notes now how much time to give now sir you will say radiology is a very small subject very short subject why should i even bother to study radiology now yes you should not spend a whole day in fact if uh, you have watched my uh, last video which i recently made on the last 10 day revision strategy last 10 day revision strategy this is on youtube you can search right so i have given a day wise schedule for all the days so starting from july 22nd till 3rd uh, august when is uh, the time it's your neat pg i've given a whole schedule and if you'll see i've given one day for three subjects from 28th i have told you that revise radiology with ortho and pediatrics right so you can't give a whole day based upon the schedule and i also don't want you to give a whole day to radiology in fact i'm just asking you to devote four hours in fact three to four hours would suffice right so uh, club radiology with the major subject or let's say club with two other minor subjects so as a thumb rule if you're revising in the last 10 days if it's a major subject like a major subjects are your medicine surgery obg psm these are the four major subjects which have 20 to 25 questions each right so you're giving one day each to these now for intermediate subjects right these are the subjects which have around 
टेन टू फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन तो इनमें क्या क्या आता है आपका यू हैव पैथ फार्मा माइक्रो एनाट बायोकेम फिजियो पीट राइट फॉर दीज सब्जेक्ट यू कांट गिव वन डे होल आई वुड से दैट गिव क्लब देम विद अ माइनर सो टू थर्ड ऑफ अ डे यू गिव टू दीज प्लस एड अ माइनर अलॉन्ग विद इट ओके एंड लेट से इफ यू आर ओनली रिवाइजिंग माइनर्स विच इंक्लूड स्किन एनस्थीजिया साइकी ई एन टी ऑफा रेडियो ऑर्थो एफ एम टी राइट सो यू कैन क्लब इधर थ्री माइनर्स टूगेदर or you can revise one intermediate and one minor as i just told you so if like we are revising these on 28th i have club ortho radio peds peds also uh, also although is an intermediate topic but when you're revising peds i'm sure you can revise it in 4 hours right so spend 3 hours on radio that would be suffice ortho 3 to 4 hours peds 4 hours and maybe it's a little tough it's a little tough to revise three subjects like this in a day but you can try right but my whole point of view telling is that don't spend more than 3 to 4 hours in revising radiology and i'll tell you how to revise radiology in 3 to 4 hours right now let's come to what are the important topics so if you look at unit wise important topics uh, these uh, in general radiology when we talk about x ray ct mr and contrast agents these are international symbols of radiation radiation unit uh, radiation exposure gu guidelines by icrp MAS versus KVP Hounsfield unit recently question was asked in Hounsfield unit so you need to revise it contraindications to MR contrast media barium images and how to identify these images again iodinated contrast may one question is asked uh, sometimes regarding the iodine particle ratio or classification and examples contrast induced nephropathy and PA versus APV on chest x and lateral decubitus view now in GI system signs of pneumoperitoneum small versus large bowel obstruction Uh, gallstone ileus duodenal atresia sigmoid volvulus fast versus e fast named signs of hydrated hydrated is an exam favorite right zenker's diverticulum recently a question was asked in ini ct again aplasia cardia is a very very important topic lot of time questions are asked on bird b rat tail ca or pigus etc now named sign in chps colonic diverticulosis lead pipe colon ulcerative colitis recently a question was asked similarly respiratory system is very important because mostly questions in respiratory system comes with a clinical integration direct radio questions are not so common but uh, again basic radiology anatomy per question aaya hai rib x rays uh, rib fractures identify karne ke liye question aaya hai silhouette sign concept pneumonitis types of pneumonia and their causes pe question aaya low bar ke kya cause hote hain community acquired ke kya kya causes hote hain lung abscess ka kya cause hota hai question has, has come Now, tb is an exam favorite india is an as an epidemic of tb tb you can't miss revise it again aspergilloma lot of questions come on aspergilloma right then pleural effusion and pneumothorax are again exam favorite questions normal lung and m mode ultrasound the uh, seashore sign versus stratosphere sign chest x ray signs of pneumoperitoneum and bronchiectasis sarcoidosis so these are the list of system wise topics you can take a screenshot also and just revise these topics from your notes right but uh, i have also given you a pdf uh, i'll just talk about it in a bit which covers 80% of these topics so you can just go through that and re revise it in 3 to 4 hours now in cns hyperdense mc sign infarct delta sign puff of smoke appearance identification of bleed on ct edh sdh sh very 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 important right dai jna ring enhancing lesions dawson fingers of ms and dandy walker syndrome similarly in genito urinary and cvs imaging you get ivu spotters mcu spotters urolithiasis genito urinary tb putty kidney pe question has been asked renal artery stenosis angiograms then cardiovascular mein just congenital heart disease and named signs on chest x ray it's a single i mean not even a page you can just revise it before the exam aortic dissection very very important Uh, classification of aortic dissection stanford uh, versus debakey now some miscellaneous topic these are overlap with uh, uh, clinical subjects also for example in ent you need to revise uh, signs uh, radiographic views of paranasal sinus mastoid 
and temporal bone now again radiography features of metabolic bone diseases tb spine bone tumors types of periosteal reaction etc these you also cover in orthopedics so like obviously i don't want you to revise these twice if you have done these in orthopedics uh, and similarly if you have revised radiographic views in ent you don't need to revise them again for radiology you know but again i'm emphasizing the point that radiology covers a lot of clinical topics also so those things you also don't need, need to revise in your clinical subjects revision similarly hsg uh, spotters are asked in the exams you read them in obs and gynae also again signs in pregnancy obstetric imaging you read them in uh, obs and gynae also now mammography and biarts are again important which are also covered in surgery and signs of acute pancreatitis are important okay so these were the list of important topics these are the list of important topics and you can take a screenshot maybe and revise these specific topics but what is the plan how to revise them in 3 to 4 days okay now i would say that we have covered uh, i have covered radiology in around 3 and 1/2 hours okay in this neat pg marathon now neat pg marathon uh, is a free series for all the neat pg aspirant on youtube channel of pw so pw meded next so it is by the name med ed next the pw channel and if you want to search it on youtube maybe you can write pw med ed neat pg and you will find under the live tab this neat pg marathon in which we have discussed every subject in a very crisp manner right so in this marathon you can uh, for example these are the screenshots uh, one screenshot i have taken uh, from this neat pg marathon and i have covered entire radiology i have come covered entire radiology in 3 hours 3 and 1/2 hours in 22 pages okay in 22 pages and these are high yield images previously asked questions and so if you're short in time and just you want to brush up some important topics maybe uh, not revise the entire subject but you want to be confident and go in the exam with the mindset that yes i have revised radiology this neat pg marathon pdf is very very helpful for you i'm also going to link the pdf uh, for this neat pg marathon in the description of this video so you guys can access it right so that is all regarding today's session how to revise radiology in a day in fact i would say don't even spend a day in radiology just 3 to 4 hours are enough to revise radiology now any questions that you need to do so i would say that for radiology right now don't bother about questions uh, because uh, you know a lot of questions you will also cover in clinical subjects so for now just revise the theory of radiology because very less time is now left if you want you can revise your bookmark bookmarked pyqs if you have bookmarked them if you haven't bookmarked them and you want to see what's the latest trend maybe just to last 3 years neat pg and 2 years inict questions right so 3 years will have around 25 to 30 questions Two years in ICT, that is four papers. Again, we'll have around thirty-five to forty questions, right? So all in all, around fifty to sixty questions, sixty to seventy questions you will do uh, based on these PYQs, and that is more than enough, right? You just have four hours. So even if you don't want to do questions, that is fine. Just revise this PDF. I would say this PDF is a banger. I've covered all important topics, important concepts in this PDF in just twenty-two pages for all of you. right so that is all from my side all the very best for the upcoming neat pg please do well and give the exam like you know go in the exam hall with confidence and that confidence will only come if you've revised the entire 19 subjects in the last 10 to 15 days so that is all from my side all the very best bye bye i'll see you guys after the neat pg